Hello! You are most likely to watch this video if you're one, have never owned a snake before, two, you are a snake fan but you like to watch snake or reptiles content, or three, you're one of those that watch the best beginner snakes, the best beginner this, the best beginner that, and I'm here to tell you why these videos should not exist. Sure, it's very good for people to know but that some reptiles are easier, so to say, with their care, but it should not mean that you should start with those species in particular. And I'm first going to explain what makes an animal easy, or makes them advanced, basically. An easy reptile will have a good temperament or an easier temperament, so will be calmer basically. Two, they will not take up a lot of space. Space is something that maybe not every beginner thinks about. So, space. How big will it get? And three, how hardy it is for your mistakes. Basically, if you fuck up, how bad will the animal react to it? Will it die? Will it nothing happens? Will it just get a bad shed? Or will it just not eat? Those are the things that determines how easy an animal is. Temperament, size, Sensitivity. Those are the things you should be watching out for if you are looking for beginner snakes. But just because they are called beginner snakes doesn't mean you need to begin there. You can begin with a green tree python, which is a more advanced snake because it is a, quite a bigger snake. They get around two meters. Two, they are sensitive. You should not just start where people say it's a good place to start. Because you will not get experience with the species that you desire if you are learning about corn snakes. Corn snakes and green tree pythons, for example, is completely different. This is exact same thing as when you are going into finding a mentor if you want to get into venomous species. You're not going to someone with only cobras if you're interested in keeping vipers. You know, they are not the same. You need to get the experience from someone with vipers if you're going to keep vipers. Same thing if you want to get cobras. Kill someone. <laughs> Kill. Go to someone with cobras. This is the exact same thing with any reptile or any unusual animal or any animal. <laughs> Just because something is relatively small in size, is hardy, have a good feeding response, will not kill you, doesn't make it something you need to buy because you want to start somewhere. And I get that a lot of people that are interested in reptiles will, but not knowing what kind of species they want or even if they want snakes, lizards, geckos, tarantulas, spiders, frogs. I can get, it's messy and it's a jungle, literally. But do not buy an animal just because someone says it's easy to take care of. Instead, I recommend to someone that's asking for an easy <coughs> snake, for example, that I have most of, when someone asks for an easy snake species to take mm -hmm. care of, I simply answer this to every single one that asks me this. What is a good begin what is a good start to begin with snakes? Or the best beginner snakes. I'm interested in getting a snake, but I don't know which one. Learn which one you want. It's so stupid to get an animal that you are not 100% passionate about just because someone says it's easy. Most likely you will, you will not take care of it or you know, go into it with your whole heart and soul 
you will most likely end up replacing the animal when you find the animal, spe animal or species that you actually want. And that is okay. It's not wrong to rehome an animal to someone that is actually genuine, <coughs> genuinely interest. Oh God, I have so much hiccups right now. Genuinely interested in the species. And again, if someone says, uh, let's say that you have no idea what kind of species you want, you ask someone, what is the best beginner snake? And someone says, corn snakes. Get a corn snake. And you get your corn snake and it goes a while and then you realize, oh, I'm not really interested in corn snakes. I want uh, a boa. Then you should have waited until you knew that you actually wanted a boa and not get the corn snake. I'm gonna say use corn snake because that is the most beginner friendly snake that people will recommend to people. Same thing that if you want to get a milk snake but you end up getting a, a ball python. Not the same species, they don't act the same, they are not anything like each other. If you get a species that you're not generally interested in, you will most likely give it up, rehome it for its best, obviously. Two, if you knew what you actually want, but everyone keeps telling you, no, you should not get one of those because they are more advanced. Why should you get a species that makes you not happy then? When you know that you want, let's say, um, a re reptic. But everyone keeps telling you, no, you should get a ball python, they are easier to begin with. It's just not working, <laughs> you know? Let people understand and find the interest themselves and not just wanting to get into an interest just because a lot of people online are getting into it. They're getting a lot of people that have a lot of animals and so many are starting to want the same just because of these people. And that is actually dangerous. Get species that you're interested in. It's the same with dogs. For instance, I got my dog not because of his look. I got him because he fits my personality, my needs, what I can give a dog. I'm not super active. I'm not going a mile a day. I can't have a husky then. I'm perfectly good with capable to fit my own needs and that is actually a really good thing to do even with reptiles when you are looking at a species that you have never owned before or that you want to find a species that you like think about what you can give number one what kind of temperament do you wish the animal to have do you wish it to have a little bit more of a feisty attitude do you really need to that struggle that intensity or do you want the calm one? Same with size. Do you want it to be a small, smaller size or do you want a really big one? Do you want it to be really sensitive or do you want it to actually be hardy and handle all the mistakes you can do to it? When you have answered all those questions, look for species that are in that range, that are covering your needs and what you can give an animal. That is not the same as saying that Oh, I want a snake, but I don't know which one. But everyone tells me that this is a good beginner snake and I should get it because it is a good beginner snake. That is stupid. Get an animal that you are genuinely interested in. This is so important for people to understand. I cannot stress it enough. And I'm sorry for Dexter shooting a bone in the background noise. He's a little bit needy today. Yeah, that was the video. <laughs> I'm sorry for making this such a rant, but if this has been bothering me for many years now and it feels really good to finally get to say that the best advice you can get when it comes to finding a species that is good for you to start with is to learn what species you actually want to work with. That even includes if you want to start with venomous Go learn about venomous. You don't need to have a lot of different species behind you as long as you get a good mentor with it. 
Same as if you want to get a corn snake. That is completely fine too. You don't have to have the fanciest and most expensive one. You don't need to have the cheapest one you can find. You just need to get something that you truly, truly like. And that includes if you want to have the most advanced species you have ever found. As long as you are happy with this choice and you have researched and tried to have experience with the species, you will do just fine. So, thank you for everyone that actually got this far. <laughs> and um, I hope you learned something and took my advice with this. And again, I do not mean to throw hate at anyone that has made this kind of video. It just bubbled to the top when the most biggest pet YouTuber makes this kind of video anyways. <laughs> and not include that you should pick a species that you actually like, not just the ones that are easy and hardy and good temperament. Like this video if you think more people should know and be aware about this and uh, don't forget to subscribe and I will see you in my next one. Bye!